beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed he is greatly to be praised. You are greatly to be praised. My Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Are you ready to prophesy? Sing, I live, yeah. Come on, turn to your neighbor and prophesy. Hey, I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Sing, I Just the voices sing, I live, I live to praise your name. Let the devil hear you prophesy. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I live, I live, I live, say, I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. One more time, just the voices. I live, I live. I live to praise your name. I have no it's giving us a reason to rejoice. Tomorrow yeah, I live, I live, I live, say. One more time. I live, I live, I live, say. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. It's because you live, Jesus, I live today. I live to praise. I 
believe to praise your name. To praise your name. You're prophesying that this is why you leave. I leave, say. I leave to pray your name. I leave to pray Hallelujah. your name. My spirit is fired up this night. Hallelujah. We're going to make some dangerous confessions this night that will, rem it will remind the devil that God and us are still in charge. Hallelujah. While I came up, that was the song that was in my spirit. My, I tell you, my spirit is fired this night. Ah. I live to praise that name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Are you tired of prophesying? I live, yeah. I live to I live, I live, I live, I live, yeah. For the last time, I live, I live, I live, say. And begin to prophesy. He has made me the head. I remain the head forever. I'm the redeemed of the Lord. He has called me blessed. I remain blessed forever. Go ahead and prophesy. My path is as a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The hand of the Lord is upon me. His favor encompasses me as a shield. A thousand falls by my side and ten thousand by my right side. None shall harm me with my eyes. Will I watch and see the reward of the wicked? Go ahead and prophesy. My path is as a shining light. Shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. But I know whom I have believed and I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that has committed against that day prophesy I'm the head I'm blessed I'm lifted the anointing is upon me in the name of Jesus my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil Gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising he's exalted me above thrones above dominions above principalities and every name that is named both in this age and in the world to come i refuse sickness i cannot be sick i refuse poverty it is far from me god has not given me the spirit of fear but the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind he has given me the tongue of the learned that i will know how to speak a word in due season my words are seasoned with song to minister grace to the hearers. Come on, prophesy. Through wisdom, my life is built. By understanding, it is established. True knowledge is filled with every blessing. I'm above Satan. I'm above the powers of darkness. He has lifted me. He has given me a name that is above every other name. He calls me great. He calls me blessed. He calls me anointed. My gates are continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. My way pleases the Lord and he makes even my enemies to be at peace with me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, prophesy koinonia. The Bible says, hold fast your profession of faith. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Let the anointed of the Lord say so. Go ahead and prophesy. It doesn't matter what is happening in your family. 
God is faithful. God is faithful. I shall not die. I have no covenant with death. I choose life. I choose life. I do not live by the sword. So I cannot die by the sword. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I run into it and I am saved. Go ahead and prophesy. Wealth and riches are in my house. The wisdom of God is at work in me. The works of my hands are blessed. I move from glory to glory to glory to glory. The hand of God is upon me. The favor of God is upon me. The gift of the Lord that is deposited within me makes room for me and it ushers me into the realm of greatness. Pray and prophesy. Let the devil hear you. The Bible says, as I hear you say before my ears, so shall I do. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm lifted. I have the mind of Christ. I don't think failure. I don't think defeat. In the name of Jesus, I'm an ambassador doing wonders for the kingdom. I lay hands on the sick and they are healed. I cast out devils. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to announce the acceptable year of the Lord and the year of vengeance of our God, to give them beauty for ashes joy for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of god the lord is my shepherd i refuse to be in want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the quiet waters he restores my soul and guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for thou art with me Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, I dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever, I am planted in the house of God. And I flourish in the courts of God. Even in old age, I shall be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. The Gentiles come to my light. Kings to the brightness of my rising. That same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my body. That same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my body. It quickens my body. No divination, no enchantment against me can stand. They shall gather, but as surely as they gather, they will scatter. Because the Lord is my portion. The Lord is my inheritance. I live to praise your name and I have no fear how could I have what tomorrow brings yeah. I live to praise your name and I have no fear I have no worry I live to praise your name and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings hallelujah
The best way to predict your future is to create it. Hallelujah. So that you are not confused about what to expect. And he told Job, he said, Hast thou commanded thy morning? Hast thou commanded thy morning? He said, the heaven, even the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. The heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. But Job, has thou commanded thy morning? Have you instructed your future? Hallelujah. I refuse to enter into a coincidental future. No way. No. Hallelujah. You may not be able to do something about your past. But let me tell you something. It is absolutely within your power. God gave you anointing not for showmanship. He gave you the capacity to create. The only thing that can enter your future is the word of God. Nothing else can enter. Hallelujah. You can send the word. The Bible says he sent forth his word. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word. Listen. Every time you speak. In faith. Believing. I want you to realize. That the word of God is creative in nature. Are you listening to me? To create means to make substance out of nothing. The word of God becomes that substance. It says, the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Every time the word of God materializes, it becomes something. The word can become anything. The word became flesh. It had substance. Listen, Jesus is the word. But you are the voice that will release that word. John said, I am the voice of one crying. Although I'm not the word, but I'm the one who gives breath. Hallelujah. That's the reason why the first characteristic of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence. Whenever the devil wants to destroy the life of a man, he brings you to a point where you cannot talk again. And at that point, you are hoping and wishing and trusting that things will change. But can I tell you something? It is not within, it's not just left for God to change things. You've got to use your mouth as a weapon of creation. Son of man, he said, can these bones live? He said, only thou knowest. He said, really, it's not within, if you want it to change, prophesy. He said, and I prophesied as, as I was commanded. There was a sound. You're going to prophesy one more time to your life. Many of us have left our future as a barren wilderness. You're just hoping one day that things will change. No. The fierceness of the world necessitates you rising up and beginning to practice the principles of the kingdom. I like the scripture that Bishop read. He said, they go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. As many that appear before him in Zion. Part of the things that happen in Mount Zion is that you go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Sing one more time. When I pray, thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Say after me, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say it like you believe it. I am blessed. I'm blessed. I'm anointed. The Spirit of God is upon me. I'm a threat to the kingdom of darkness. I know the word. I understand the word. I believe the word. The word is working for me. God cannot lie. I believe his promises. I'm an ambassador. Doing wonders for the kingdom. I have no covenant with death. 
I have no covenant with sickness. I'm the blessed of the Lord. His hand is upon me. I'm the glory of the Lord. I'm the beauty of the Lord. I'm well favored. I'm like a well watered garden. The Gentiles come to my light. The kings to the brightness of my rising. I'm distinguished. I have the oil of gladness. I know what to do. There's no confusion in my life. The word of God is a lamp to my feet. It's a light to my path. Through wisdom, my life is built. By understanding, it is established. Through knowledge, my life is filled with blessings. Say one more time. Through wisdom, my life is built. I cannot be foolish. The wisdom of God is at work. I understand the principles of the kingdom. Say, I understand the principles of the kingdom. I know what to do. I know how to prosper. I know how to live in hell. I know how to be victorious. I know how to live long. I know how to command results. The hand of God is upon me. The word of God is making me wise. It's giving me an inheritance. I'm not an ordinary Christian. I'm supernatural. The anointing is at work in me. I have an unction from the Holy One. In the name of Jesus, give God a shout of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, I commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise and then give you an inheritance. Listen, listen. If your life still remains in confusion, then you do not understand the principles of the kingdom. Are you following me now? The edge you have over carnal believers or unbelievers is the fact that you are not just walking in a system that you are hoping for things to happen by guesswork. This is why we labor in the world day and night to see that you grasp an understanding. Everybody say understanding. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. It says in all thy getting, get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it hallelujah one of the greatest blessings of the word of god is that it takes away ignorance the bible says hear me for an heir although he's an heir but as long as he's a child he differed not from a slave though he be lord of all so although it is true that there are certain things that have been written concerning you, it takes understanding to walk into that experiential truth. This is what we seek to do. The word gives you understanding. There are a lot of people who just preach for effect. There are many people who preach just for swagger. But let me tell you something. If you are truly anointed, you will preach to create understanding. For as long as I do not know how to cook jollof rice, I, I will keep guessing. Is that true? Mix everything when, but when somebody who knows what to do, the Bible says, follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise. The word of God is full of the compendium of people that came, they saw, and they conquered. They have left a testament of their exploits so that we, by diligently following in partnership with the Holy Spirit, will do these things and Jesus said verily verily I say unto you he that believes in me in other words he that believes in all these truths the works that I do he said he shall also do and greater works that's what the Bible says he says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus that we should show forth that there be a manifestation of the things that we have been predestined to do I told you this is a training ground this is not a place where you just come and sleep or you come and laugh no this is a place where God gives you understanding say after me understanding brothers and sisters let me tell you something when you have understanding confusion ends in your life when you have understanding the same boisterous river called life you will walk on it as if Satan does not exist hallelujah 
We're going to pray one prayer and say, Lord, grant me understanding. Grant me understanding. Say it from your heart. Grant me understanding. These things that are still a mystery unto me, open it up, oh God. The Bible says Jesus was going to the city called Emmaus with two men. And although he was the bread of life, they did not understand. But when he sat at table, he broke the bread and their eyes were open. Say, Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes, oh God. When you know it, you have known it forever. When you know it, it will tell in your life. When you know it, there's no confusion about it. When you know it, see, he said they are life to those who find them. You can pretend to find it, but when you truly, 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 when you truly know it, it will show in your life. Say, Lord, teach me. Teach me. I'm willing to learn. Teach me. Open me up to the things of the Spirit. Open me to the things that command true power. The things that equip me to be an ambassador. You have told me I'm a sign and a wonder. Say, Lord, I don't want to keep seeing darkly. Open me up. The Bible says, if the light in your eye be darkness, how great is that darkness? But it is the entrance, not the reading, not the explanation, the entrance of the word that gives light. Pray, I receive understanding. I receive understanding. That will put me in charge. Put me in command. There is a generation waiting for my manifestation. Heaven is waiting for me. There are lives that are depending on my understanding the things of the kingdom. He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side To bring his word to pass He reigns He reigns Our God is an awesome He reigns, he reigns Sing it with faith in your heart he was standing by her side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You will be changed tonight. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please be seated. Greet one another. Hug one another. Tell them it's good to see you again. Bring out your notepads, your pen. Let's get to the business of the night. When you seek him early, you will find him. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of a parable of ten virgins. Hallelujah. And then the Bible tells us that five were what? They were all virgins, meaning they were all of the fold of God, same fold. But five were wise. You know, sometimes when I stand here, I just feel I should just open my heart. Look, let me tell you. The things you are learning that some of you take for granted, you will see people pay with their blood 
to receive it in the future. This is when you will appreciate it. You are not paying for it. Let me tell you something. The Bible says five, there was a time all the ten had the opportunity to get extra oil. Is that true? There was a time that they could have gotten as much oil. This is the time right now. But while five were paying, they all had oil. They all had oil. Is that true? They were anointed. They had knowledge. But the remaining five said, uh -uh, the fierceness of time will require that we hold extra oil. And while the five held extra oil, the remaining people, the Bible says, although they were virgins, they were foolish. What was their foolishness? Refusal to pay attention. When the, those who sold this oil said, remember the Bible says, it is wisdom that stands on the street and cries. While men are passing, wisdom is saying, look, pay attention to me. We need a Sunday school department. Who did CEM? Please. Help that baby. Praise God. Are you listening to me? And then, all of them were gathered. What they did not know, listen, was that the oil was being used and would require refilling. And a time came when the lamp of the other five was dying. And the Bible says there was a sudden announcement. This is exactly how life will present itself. Sudden announcement. Here comes the bridegroom. Everybody, the Bible says the five who were wise, on the strength of their extra work, they now said, now we have enough for this occasion with the bridegroom. And then the remaining five, the remaining five who did not pay attention the Bible says they were, they came to beg the other five and say, please, can you give me small oil? They say, no, when it comes to this one, we don't, there are some things they cannot help you do. Listen, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters, there are certain parts in life that nobody can help you cross. No matter how they love you, nobody can get born again for you. Is that true? And the remaining five had to run out. I told you this thing. I'm giving you the scriptural basis. That when you don't pay attention to some things, no matter how far you go in life, the, the, the time they were supposed to run and go and buy, they didn't pay attention. Now they were forced to go out. And the Bible says, while they went, what happened? The door was closed. The door was closed. There are some things you are receiving right now. That you will bless God for tomorrow. I just sat this afternoon and I was just praying. I was just praying for everyone and blessing God for the ability to hear and to receive the word of the Lord. Was that rain? If that's rain, bring the chairs inside. Bring the chairs. Just find anywhere and sit down. Come, ushers, help them. Add chairs in the front, add chairs everywhere. Come and sit down in the pulpit. Is the word that you are hearing now that will give you shelter tomorrow. Huh. You have been a shelter in the rain. You have been a doctor when in pain. Lord, you've been a listener when I call, oh Lord, you've been my friend, you have been a shelter in the rain, you have been a doctor when in pain. You have been a listener when I call. Oh Lord, you've been my friend. Listen, no matter what you are going through today, 
is nothing compared to the whiplash that ignorance and lack of preparation will bring. I don't care what it is, so long as you are breathing. The Bible says a time will come, people will look for death and it will run away. What kind of suffering will make a man look for death? Sit down anywhere. Sit on the floor. It's better to sit on the floor. Don't be ashamed of the camera. We are not, we are not playing, we are not acting film here. This is, this is life. Find a place. Sit everywhere. Come and sit around. Occupy some of these seats if you can. Just leave the minister's seats. Sit any other place. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. And I take God seriously. Say it one more time in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing. They are life to me because I found them. Hallelujah. I receive calls almost daily text messages hundreds of text messages every day and the major issue is that many people call and they are asking for help families believers who are born again pastors great men and women of God who are trying to find meaning as to why their lives are the way they are. Are you listening to me? Every time we counsel people, we counsel every Mondays and there are families that come with unanswered questions. Listen. The level of unanswered questions that are falling upon people are becoming too serious. People, look, people are asking questions. Questions about their personal success. Questions about longevity. Questions about health. Science has failed. The government has failed. I was reading the paper about, I mean, um, online now, about... Um, Egypt and the commotion that is happening and this country and all the things that are happening and tears just filled my eyes. I said Lord I don't know what you did to me that made me to pay attention to your word but I pray that the people in Koinonia will pay as much attention will pay as much attention the Bible says my son Pay attention to my words. You see, let me tell you something. The days of begging people for the things of God are over. Are you listening to me? Where you tell people, oh, come. We'll give you sweets. Two, two, tom, tom. One vix, one tom, tom for coming. And the people say, really? Will they give it? Or oh, there's cold and then we'll prepare tea for you. And people come. They say, that tea I will take. Those days are over. Because whether or not, see, Everybody in hellfire today believes in Jesus. I hope you know. The only mistake is that they believe too late. The Bible teaches us that there is a time. Please project Lamentations 3.28. Lamentations 3.28. I forbid you. I forbid you from failing in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I forbid you from entering prostitution as a result of not listening to this message. I forbid our brothers from becoming arm robbers. Arm robbers are not just the ones who jump fence. I forbid you from going to a harbor list because you think the word of God is not working. Do you know the number of people that patronize harbor list, Bishop? It's not a hidden thing again. Pastors, prophets, 
apostles, everybody. Look at graduates running helter skelter around Nigeria. Did you know that many people who run back to Zaria don't just run back because of desire. They run back because of the pain and the severity of the frustrations. But there is a way. God cannot leave people in the dark. There is a way. Listen, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out. You must search it out. You must search it out. Hallelujah. You must search it out. It is good for a man. Man doesn't mean a male figure. It just means a human being. It is good for a man that he bear his yoke. When? When? What is it about the youth of a man? The Bible says the glory of men is their strength. Is that true? Bear the burden. Pay the price. That's why I say this every time. You will quote me in the future. No matter how you cry, I don't care how you are looking at me, I will say it. Hate me, I will say it. I will preach it. We will file you. When you become a wonder tomorrow, you will look for us and say thank you. See, when you are in the training ground, there are some things you don't think about. Don't say, ah, my makeup, this powder is 10,000. Uh -uh. Or you say, Kai, this is my suit. Is uh -uh. When you are in the training ground, you are there for business. It is when you win that you will celebrate. Is that true? Now is the time for training. So when we say pray in tongues, don't just say, ah, this fine guy is he looking. Pray! Open your mouth and pray. If you don't pray, life will whip you and you will still open that mouth. It will be open. The only thing is for what? Either to announce your pain and tragedy to the world that cannot help or to cry before God who is our helper. I say, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. See, if you really get this thing, you have gotten it forever. Are you hearing me? I want one lady who can cook. You know, don't, you know, it's not pride. God has blessed you. You know, you whether you're a caterer or something, stand up, just one. Who is that? No, no, I'm not going to say you cook. It's an illustration. So, let's call the ones we are sure of. Opie, stand up. Oh yeah, now stand up. Look at this. Listen. If we ask you to make cake now, can you make it with absolute confidence? Ask me the same question. Ask me. No. I may try. It may work. I don't know. That's how many people's lives are. You tell them, how can you lead a man from point A to P? They say, well, I know. See, there is a level of persuasion I want you to get. Not just belief, persuasion. See how she just smiled about the cake thing. But if they ask you to, there are some of us, you've made it once, twice. Hallelujah. It wasn't bad, but you are not sure. Is that true? When I saw this guy snapping, and Oga John, I knew they knew what they were doing. Ask me to snap. All I know is to look at you and press that thing. Doesn't matter how it comes out. But these guys know something about perspective and angles and the rest. This is what I'm teaching you. Don't just enter the world blindly and hoping that things will change. There is a fierce world out there. Are you listening to me? You're not going to live in health by mistake. Please get this. Are you listening to me? Living in health is not a mistake. You're not going to be prosperous by mistake. One day you wake up and say, wow, so I made it. Mm -mm, it will never be by mistake. You're not going to know God by mistake. You won't have a glorious life and a ministry by mistake. You will not raise children after the fear of God by mistake. This thing of mistake or nemesis or if God wants it, he will do it. Stop that kind of language. It's not a good language. Say, if God really wants to bless me, after all, I didn't ask him for Jesus to die. So why would, if he, wouldn't he freely give me all things? See, if you don't pay attention, you will be surprised. 
Is that true? Now, Hope, let me ask you. Was there a time you could make cake but not very well? What did you do? Did you train yourself? You went for catering school, Mrs. Kait, Abi. Now, listen. You went, you, she followed those who, with faith and patience, leaving Sam around, going to PZ every time because she was determined. Is that true? Now, she can bake cake for wedding. Somebody will give her 50,000 overnight. Is that true? And somebody will say, I hope that the same, uh, our birthday is the same. No, it's not the issue of birthday. This is why people get angry at the success of their colleagues. Because they think life respects age. Ask Elihu. They say, ah, when did the uh, promise become successful like this? When the same koinonia, the same, in the same class, taught by the same teacher, somebody will get 100, somebody will get zero. Is that true? God bless you, please sit down. If you pay attention if you pay attention and you give it seriousness i promise you it's a guarantee i promise you you know what i said this thing right from when we used to meet at the back of chapel that we will be so successful and the beautiful part is that we will all know ourselves so that it will not be guesswork you will know what you did you know, when you ask a pretty lady, you say, I, I see how fine you're looking. What is responsible? You say, it's God. Bro. Yes, it's God. But let me explain to you. It's God. God gave grace. You took advantage of that grace. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said, but this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than he all. It's God that gives children. It's the woman that carries the gift. Correct? So that tomorrow, when you are blessed, it will not be a mistake. And the purpose of the blessing is to make others a blessing. That's why your blessing can never be by mistake. God will teach you the steps and you can guide somebody. Tomorrow, some of you, you are looking at me now. Some of you will be the ones on air. Presidents of nations will come to see the hand of God upon your life. And when they ask you, you will be talking to other people. When you see somebody sagging his jeans and laughing, you say, look, for your own good, you better wash this childishness and sit down in one place. It's not the issue, oh, I can do both. It's the matter of the heart. Sit down and allow God to build you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, we've been considering the su subject of success. I tell you, my spirit is fired up. Proverbs 18. We began two weeks ago by talking about the spiritual dimension of success. Give me this mountain. Hallelujah. Played the documentary and we thought, I told you that success is spiritual. Everything, life in itself is spiritual. Don't let secular humanists deceive and confuse you. Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. Then we considered the place of wisdom. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by studies. The dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by accumulation of experiences. Job said, this wisdom is not found in the land, in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Today I want to talk, still building on success. What do you have in your house? Proverbs 18, I want to share a powerful secret and I trust God that will pray. Proverbs 18 verse 16. Proverbs 16. Let's read together. You can look up. One to read. And bring it him before great men. One more time. Now, where a man is, put your name. Ready to read? One, two. Don't say my gift. My is not your name. This is English. One, two, go again. Mean it from your heart now. One, two, go. Father, bless your word tonight. 
in the name of Jesus. Give us understanding. Let the fruits of this teaching speak. Let it abide in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says the gift of a man can do what? The word make there is create. It can create space for him in life. And usher him. Can we get it from NIV? Or New Living Translation? Anyone? Ah, is that's that's not is that that's not the version? That's a different 1816. A gift does what is is not saying a gift like a bribe. No, just forget it's not like a bribe. We're not talking of Nigeria here. Are you following me now? Because many of you that's what you think I'm talking about. No, I'm not saying a gift like a seed. Huh? No. A gift, the gift of a man. It says what, my dear? It opens the way for who? Not the giver's friend. Not the giver's brother. It opens a way for what? And does what? And ushers him into the presence of it says the gift of a man whether there is space or not, the gift can push people and create space for him and usher him into the place of the great. A man's gift can make room. Have you ever heard people say no space? Have you heard that language? Sorry, no space. If there was space, it would have helped you. The Bible says a man's gift has the ability to push people and make space. Not only that, when other people are segregating, it can usher him to the place of the great. Hallelujah. It can usher him to the place of the great. Write it quickly. What is a gift? God giving abilities. God giving abilities. Your potentials, God given abilities. That's simply what a gift is. Your God given ability. The Bible says if you take it seriously, it can create space for you in life. This night, we're not just talking of gift, we're also talking of skill. What's your skill? Your learned abilities, acquired abilities. The difference between a gift and a skill. Is that one is God given. It can only be developed. The other one can be learned. It can be acquired. Both of them have the capacity to bring you before great people. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of an interesting person called Joseph. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he had Joseph. By the way, please. Joseph was not a dreamer for God's sake. Are you listening to me? Joseph was not a... There was nothing spectacular about the dreams of Joseph. As far as we know in the Bible, he had only two dreams. How many times have you had it? Have, have you dreamt? Are you a dreamer? So Joseph was not, his gift was not dreaming. His gift was the ability to interpret dreams. Are you following me now? So the Bible says that because of that ability, his brothers envied him many things happened and then the bible i'm just rushing now the bible says when he was put remember when when um potiphar's wife and all her story 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 let's just jump it he found himself in the prison is that true and the bible says when he found himself in the prison there was the wine presser and the baker but he realized that he had something is that true are you following me now when it was time for God to bless him, God made the king to dream and close the heavens over the sorcerers and the magicians. Are you listening to me? They got up in the morning and tried to do their enchantment as usual. No way. Because it was time for God to bring a man into success. But God realized that a gift can open a way. What way? The way of the prison. Nothing else would have opened that way for Joseph because they were not planning to bring him out. Is that true? There are many people today 
who do not realize that if they take advantage of the gift of God that is in them, it has the ability to take them from where they are into realms that they never dreamt possible. And tonight, this is our prayer. We've been examining the principles of success. There is a dimension of success that only your gift can bring to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your gift. This dependency attitude of Nigerians is what has stopped them from exploring their gift. Ale, Ale Baka Musamu. Have you heard that statement? What is it in English? May God give you so that we will get. It's, it's a wrong concept of dependence. That's how many of us are waiting. Say, oh boy, just get work. Once you are there, just remember me. Your boy is there. Oh. See, let me tell you. If that is your mindset, you are going to suffer in this Nigeria. And in case you think you will run abroad, you will still suffer. There are still people, there are people under the bridge of every nation, true or false. Every nation in the world has, has bridge and there are people that sleep there. It's just that films don't carry it. There is ghetto everywhere, true or false. So, many of us have this escapism mind. You are just trying to get lottery and say, oh God, let this green American lottery just happen. They would go and see how many Nigerians live like, like outcasts abroad. Because they believe. I've told you, there is nowhere called greener pastures. Greener pastures is the word of God. The Bible says, he makes me lie down. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Many people want to run to Delta or rivers. Say, ah, oh yeah, we're coming to chop our share of the national cake. Go and find out how many poor people were born and bred in that same land. Are you listening to me? Everybody say, I have a gift. Say it, I have a gift. It can make room for me. It can take me from where I am to where God wants me to be. Hallelujah. Second Kings. Somebody is catching this thing and leaving some realms forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Catching this and leaving some realms forever. Hallelujah. Who would have known that comedians will be paid millions in Nigeria today? Look up please everybody. How many of you used to play football and you come back home and they've kept the cane to flog you? As soon as you are entering, there's a way you greet your father. He says, hey, hey, you already know that this night. But today, that same football, are you listening to me? That same football has blessed people. Comedians, for heaven's sake, they won't come until you give them 2.5 million or 5 million to come and talk. They just crack a joke. Hallelujah. There are artists today. Artists today. Those who draw caricature for banks. They are paid millions of naira. Millions of naira. Listen. If you get what I'm teaching you this night. Something will happen in your life. Some of you it will happen instantly. A young man called Gray Farah. Many of you know him. Gray Farah at age 10 was wondering what to do with his life. And he found out that he liked stones and he decided to start painting stones so that people would use it to just, you know, just press their books and their doorposts. And people started looking at him and laughing. Every time people saw it, they just laughed. And they said, well, let's just help this small boy. Little did they know that that was a champion in the making. A time came, he started packaging those stones very well. At age 12, Grefara became a millionaire. At age 14, he was seated in the board of directors of 14 companies. Age 14. How old are you? Are you listening to me? I want you to know that if you take advantage of the gift, the gift of God is his seed in you that is supposed to help you enter the realm where you have influence and honor to legislate on behalf of heaven. 
Are you listening to me? Jeremiah Gyang, I've told you. Jeremiah Gyang used to be in Joss. That guy they call Jeremiah Gyang. Now, um, whether they are serving Satan or God is not the issue now. Are you listening to me? The issue is that the gifts were developed. You, you, get, you get the point? The guy you call M.I., I've said it, Jesse Jacks, who were Sunday school mates. While all of us were looking at ladies, hey, pastor's daughter, this, those guys were building their potentials. Just like some of you were doing. You go to church, you won't sit down, you will use your offering money, buy ice cream, be playing ball at the back of the church. That's what you were doing. Whereas others were hearing the word and go. See the difference right now. Are you listening to me? That these things have been perverted does not negate the fact that if they are gifts, they will still bring men to honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Second Kings 4. The story of an interesting woman. Now, there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet. So the, the person was the son of a prophet. Look at me. I want to tell you something. Maybe I'm going to create another controversy now this night. Listen. That your man of God or your spiritual father or mentor is anointed does not automatically guarantee that you will enter success. Did you hear what I'm saying? The Bible says this guy was the son of who? That means it does not respect anointing. Hmm. Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest what thy servant, that thy servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is come to take my two sons to be slaves. And Elisha said to her, listen now. This woman was in a situation where she needed a miracle. Two of her children were going to go as slaves. Hallelujah. What did Elisha tell her? He said, what shall I do for you? And he asked a question. He said, tell me, what hast thou in thy house? What do you have where? In your house. And the Bible says, there is this treasure in this house, these earthen vessels. He said, what do you have? The woman had been running helter-skelter, running helter-skelter, and she met the prophet. And the prophet said, what do you have in your house? Could it be that many of you who have been running helter skelter or many families need to calm down and look at what you have in your house? I've learned by experience and by the word that the blessing of a man is always not far from him. It's just that there is no discernment to recognize it. Are you listening to me? Yes, the blessing of a man is always not far from him. Sometimes it's ridiculously close. You may not even know. There were many people who walked with Jesus, yet they were looking for miracles and until Jesus went to heaven, they were not blessed. Because they did not realize. Your miracle can be so close, you may not know. The Bible says, And she said, Thy handmaid had not anything in the house except what? A pot of oil. You see how she didn't place value on it? The Bible says she said, Thy handmaid had what? Nothing. Nothing. That means this thing is not of worth, but just for the sake of answering you, let it be there. Thy handmaid had nothing. There are many of you that God has given you certain things and you have been calling it nothing. 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 The gift of a man. Whether it's a spiritual gift, is whatever kind of gift the Bible says the gift of a man can single handedly pick you where you are, take you out, and exalt you. It can, it can, I tell you, it can. Hallelujah! The man called Reinhard Bonke, he said he was considered by everybody to be a dollar, what people call a dollar, complete dollar, dollar IQ low, everything low. But one day he discovered that there was the gift of God in his life. And today, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world celebrate this man. Called Reinhard Bonke. His name is synonymous to soul winning. Because he discovered the gift. And it created space for him among the great. It ushered him 
when you are mentioning great people in history you will mention him men who have done great things for the kingdom are you listening to me in history there's a woman called mother Teresa didn't have the ability to heal the sick and do all of this but she discovered that she had a gift in her she refined it to a point that she gave it and gave her life and forever history will remember her. are you hearing me the gift of a man I want you to know that there is an ability in you nobody here is a biological accident I know you've been hearing it Ah, your parents planned for four children and you are the fifth one you just came and every time they see you they say see we didn't prepare for you so you, you better know this thing you are stubborn no wonder we didn't prepare for you and for some of us these words have entered us but I'm speaking to you tonight that out of the six billion people in the earth there is still space for those who are ready to make their see at the top there is space the congestion is always below are you hearing what I'm saying if you can pay the price to rise to the top you will sit there and be wondering 90% of the world's wealth is controlled by less than 10% of the world's population and they left the remaining 10%. They spread it across and flung some in Africa. And everybody is running like rats. Whereas somebody can arise. A man called Wole Soinka got up and looked and said, Look, the boundaries of Africa will not stop me. He knew that he had something. See, I want you to be persuaded. Persuaded. It always does not look like it can make you great until you see the way men celebrate it. Matthew Ashimolo hawk bread in this area. Some of our parents bought bread from him. While they were eating it, he was prophesying, Lord, the world will hear me. You say, I have bring bread, 20 naira you take. Yet, this guy was moving within a short period of time now he has commanded what we call apostolic territorial legislation that's what he's doing in London but acres and hectares of land that they would never give to a black person and he's legislating on behalf of heaven a man called Sondia Delaja till date he does not speak fluently he got up and went to a communist country Ukraine and stayed there let a part of those who led right now he's among the fourth most influential people in that state 80 percent of the people in his church are whites he has led a revival and broken some barriers say after me my gift say it my gift will make room for me let me share with you a little story they know about it years ago i went to a particular bank in this country to go and beg for loan I just entered promising I believe God spoke in tongues fasted prayed I got up you know there's a way they can look you see let me tell you people have be careful I'm warning you now in advance be careful the way you you turn people down because let me tell you it does not show the Bible says now it does not yet appear Went to squat in my friend's house in Abuja. I got up, went to the bank, met them, told them I was begging for loan. These people dribbled me, dribbled me, made a fool out of me, embarrassed me in the bank. I didn't, I said, what is all this thing? And I laughed. I said, one day they will call me. Are you hearing that? One day. What's the name of this guy that ran for second uh, vice president? Tunde Bakari. A bank came and met him and said, Sir, we are begging you to collect a loan of $10 million. We want to give you. No capital. The name of the capital is human capital. Do you know what human capital is? You and your reputation is what will be a collateral. So banks are looking for Dangote and looking for this and then some of you run there and they say get out of this place we are looking for people who have used their gifts tell yourself no man will mock your god in your lifetime this is what has happened to some of you 
you see your father stand, no rent, and a landlord will stand and blast all of you, blast you, say, look at you, pretty for nothing. Eh? You are all these kind of Nigerian people. Just laugh. And say, you will invite him when you are cutting the scissors of the duplex you are building for your parents. The gift of a man. The gift of a man. The gift of a man. The gift of a man makes room for him. I'm speaking to some of you. Some of you think, don't just think I'm motivating you. I'm speaking to your spirit. I told myself, I will never go anywhere where anybody will look and I'll have to chicken out and hide myself. I have something. I have something. I have something. When you find it, it so happens that God carved your own like your fingerprints. God is not a fool. He will not put competition around. He gave you your uniqueness. What is your uniqueness? When you know your uniqueness and you are persuaded about it, you found your secret of glory in life. Did I do something here? I think I've done something. Did, was it me? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I have seen people in this life that years ago, they would look at me, they wouldn't, some of them, <laughs> let me tell you something. Ah! Life. Somebody who will be driving you today, tomorrow will be the one who it will be the honor. I've gone to homes that I went years ago. Years ago. They were looking at me like some of these unserious people. But now, when they hear you are coming, it's as if God is coming. Say, say after me, the gift of a man. Yes. The gift of a man makes room for him. Makes room. The brothers of Joseph did not realize his gift. They didn't know it would be an honor one day for them to see their own brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One time they went... And suddenly they found out that their brother was now the prime minister in Egypt. Could it be that some of you who are sitting down today, somebody who has looked at you and said, Tolu, one day the person will say, Tolu, please talk to XYZ for us. May God make you a wonder. May God stop you from being small. What is that gift? What is that gift? For some of you is wisdom. When you think of Benny Hinn, you think of the healing anointing. When you think of Aura Roberts, you think of healing. When you think of JJ Okocha, you think of football. Mark Zuckerberg, you think of IT. What is your uniqueness? Define what makes you different. That's what the world will pay for. What makes you different? The greatness is not in your similarity. The greatness is in your difference. When you master your difference, you will exchange it for honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. The world is full of people. What is your difference from others? Do you know it? Do you even believe it? There are many musicians in this country equally anointed. But when you call Sinach, there is a, there is a, a carving she has carved a brand for herself when you mention frank edwards they they not only discovered their gifts they discovered what was unique about that gift that's what makes you priceless when you discover that gift you will know that you are not one of the many people roaming around the earth oh there is something about your life you may be in the same class. You may be in the same office. But let me tell you, you are not the same. You are not the same. You may be doing ministry. Everybody is doing prophetic ministry. Everybody is doing apostolic ministry. Everybody is doing evangelical ministry. What is it about yours? What is it about yours? Every great man in life not only discovered his or her gift, but the uniqueness about that gift. What is your uniqueness? What makes you stand out from the rest? I'm asking you and God is asking you. What makes you stand out from the remaining people? Listen. When you find your gifts, the next step is to begin to refine it. This is the hardest part. Because your gift at its default state is not good enough to make you marketable. Do you hear what I'm saying?
Refine yourself. Build yourself. A lot of us don't do this. Christians are very, very, very lazy people. You know what made us lazy? The fact that there is something called the favor of God. There is something called the wealth of the wicked that will be transferred to the righteous. And people just say, my wealth, come, find your way into my pocket. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, people have been confessing that thing from the day you were born. And they thought it just works like that till today it has not come. When the Bible says the wealth of the wicked, people just, people just, just craft that thing and pick out what they want. The wealth of the wicked will come into, the Bible says, God give it to a man that is good in his sight, wisdom. And he said to the unbeliever, he give it to heap and to travail so that he will bring it. It is your wisdom. Hallelujah. What is your gift? What is your uniqueness? What makes you stand out? What makes you stand out? Among all of the graduates in Nigeria, what do you think will make you get a job? What do you think will make you become a CEO? What do you think will make you become an uncommon? I preached a message. Extra, what did I, what, extraordinary anointing. What makes you extraordinary? Hallelujah. What makes you extraordinary? It's not your place of birth. It's not even whether you are from a royal family or not. What makes you different from other people? If I write a book today, what is the difference between my book and that of David Ibiome or that of Bishop Oyedeko or that of Paul Enenche? What is the difference? Many of you like doing the same things. That's why you are not moving anywhere. This is how a lot of people. We, like, we think it will work because you are doing copy and paste. There is beauty in being unique. Are you listening? There are even, even among bad people, there are some arm robbers that are notable because they were unique. Their degree and strategy of arm robbery was so touching. They said, no, I won't steal like the rest. This thing is common. There is a strategy. This follow, follow attitude is good to follow people, but you must follow with wisdom. Many of you, every time God is telling you move left and you see a crowd moving right, you think you are wrong. A whole nation can be wrong. That a thing is popular does not mean it is right. The path of greatness is a lonely path. Few people follow it. That's why you will not find many people. You will think you are making a mistake. Wait until you arrive there. Everybody will turn and say, ah, I need pastors in that journey. Hallelujah. What is your gift? Do you realize that if you take that gift, some of us is plotting, just plotting. Do you know that if the Lord anoints it and wisdom comes upon that gift, you will be able to establish something that will make you so influential you can legislate for the kingdom. Are you listening to me? A lot of people say, Billy Graham, all the presidents go to greet him. But what people do not know is that it was part of his life's goal. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. His, he really didn't believe his gift was just normal evangelism. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. He sent them hundreds of telegrams again and again. They kept bouncing him. He didn't stop. What you see or what you have seen is the reward of many years. There are some of you, God has spoken a lot of things. God has told you. Some of you will own banks. Some of you will own corporations. Hallelujah. You started selling recharge card, nothing happened. People just say, and you know believers have this ugly way. Once you start something, nobody buys it. They say, oh God, leave this thing. If God is in it, speed will come, favor will come. It is lack of the understanding of the principles of the kingdom. You can never know success until you know failure. In the school of greatness, your greatest asset is your failure. Are you listening to me? Are you following me? I'm teaching you something very powerful. 
my gift can make room for me. My gift can make room for me. Worship team. Roti means rehearsing all the time. Hallelujah. He's been with us for years. We've, we've gone, every, I know how much he rehearses money because he believes. This is, a, this is a master student. I think he should have rounded up his masters. But he just believes that there is something upon this. And he's taking it all the way. Tomorrow, presidents will call him and he'll just be playing. And they'll sign checks of millions and you'll be wondering and saying, ah, ah, just keyboard. You, you play your own as you are playing. They just, they point, they will even talk to you. They'll just say this way, go out. Those who do decoration, do you know there are those who do decoration for presidential figures? There's this guy called Yam, Yal Yam Press. Jordan, what's his name? I, I heard that he was in Zaria here. Is that true? Now he got up with his publishing and today he has become a multi-millionaire. Yet there were others who started before him. This afternoon we went to pray for um, one of our ladies' father and she can. While we were passing somewhere, we saw this, I mean, we we're talking about people who were pushing who used to push wheelbarrow? Jakes was saying, Ah, this wheelbarrow business used to sell before. And we're talking. And then Wale pointed one man's shop and said, This man, it was by pushing that wheelbarrow. Right now, he has one of the largest shops around. Say, I will not let men despise my gift. Say it. Many of you have stopped developing your gift because you have been lied to. Some of you can cook, and all you can cook is Amala. And you, you have a dream of having somewhere just Amala people love as a yourself. Abba! You want to disgrace the world. See, greatness lies in the bosom of those who can go the extra mile with their gifts. Refuse to let men talk you down. It's better to take a step and fail honorably. They will clap for you. The one who tried and failed is better than the one who didn't try and is just making noise. Oh, pass the ball to number five. Ah, you would have just passed that in now. If you are taking that penalty this way, look at simple penalty. See, you see goalkeeper talk is cheap. Somebody is sweating in the field for 90 minutes. Somebody else is talking. He said, if it was me, that thing, the way he did it like you, that you would have been a goal now. That's how many people in life are. How can a graduate not get a job? How can blah, 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 blah? And they are not doing anything. You are in 200 level. Your lecturer told you, ah, you are a nice student. Say, I cannot understand why graduates are not getting jobs. Then you finish and carry your CV to the same man that commended you. <laughs> and he says, get out of my office. You are like, ah, ah. Say after me, my gift will make room for me. Say my gift will make me great. Say one more time, my gift will make me great. Yes. Some of you are architects. You are good, but not very good. And God is telling you, refine that gift. One day you will get, let me tell you something. Once you can provide solution, nobody cares about your age or what you can do or who, are you hearing me? The gift of a man defies race and age and anything. Once you see people discriminating you, your gift is not notable enough. When your gift is notable enough, you will break every kind of barrier. Hallelujah. What do you have in your house? And the woman said, nothing. Probably somebody said, me, I can just make people laugh. That's my own. Everybody calls me a dollar. Zero in math, zero in English. P in such as, uh, uh, you know, just anything, literature. But you can speak small. At least make people laugh. Why don't you say, Lord, if you can use this. This is what Reinhard Bonke said. He said, Lord, if you can use this, then use me. Do you know your beauty too is a gift? Hello? There are cynical guys that anytime they see a pretty lady, they are just angry. Why? I don't know. Say, look, don't think because you are beautiful in this place. Beauty is nothing. It's a lie. Beauty is something. Beauty is a gift. The book of Esther, there was no pastor, no prophet, nothing, just a beautiful woman. She was the ambassador of God. 
Many of you feel guilty for being fine as if you gave back to yourself. It has happened. It has happened. Cherish it. Build it. And use it for the glory of God. Don't use it to go to men in TJ Palace. Tell yourself this beauty. Could it be that God will make you marry the minister of finance? So that when you are there as Esther, when they want to cut corners, you say, uh-uh. Do you believe this? I want you to be wealthy. I want you to be blessed. Don't let anybody fool you that money will take you to hell. It's not true. Money only amplifies what you are. If you are a thief, money will make you a bigger thief. If you are, if you are immoral, money will give you more options. You can now rent a bigger hotel. If you love God and have a desire to advance his kingdom, money will make you do that better. You will build roads. You will build schools. When I went to Shika, I was sharing with them. I said, one of my dreams in life is to have a very big hospital. This is why you need to be successful. Say, I will be successful. Don't feel guilty about it. Say it. Say, I'll be rich. I'll be blessed for the kingdom. give God your beauty. Yes, I have nothing but everybody keeps telling me I'm a pretty person. Why don't you bring it and say, Lord, you can use this. Anoint it. Let this beauty make room for me and take me to a place where I'm in a position of influence to legislate for the kingdom. Some of you are very intelligent. People are sweating, reading overnight. You wake up that morning, one hour to the exam and browse and get A. You think it's ordinary. Is an ability of God. Why don't you stretch it through and say, I will get to a position where I will do great things. When they make me a vice chancellor because of my academic prowess, I will now legislate on behalf of heaven. When they bring the names of people who don't qualify, we kick them out and say, no. This person may be poor, but he deserves a chance. Give him a chance. Are you listening to me? Some of you will put scholarships for less privilege. Some of you will name it after your accomplishments. You will be so great, they will name a foundation after you. Joshua Selman Foundation. No, no, look. It will happen. The beauty of success is that it depends on you and God. It will happen. It will happen. You know how many women have named their children Joshua? Look at how long Matthew's surname is Ashimo Lowo. The whole world is calling it. They have never complained that it's too long. When you become great, when you become great in life, when you become great in life, I watched a DVD of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. He went for a crusade. When he came down, I saw how the gov they interviewed him in CNN for 12 minutes. Nobody will say you are a Nigerian or you are an African. No. Listen, are you going to remain where you are? Are you not seeing your family members crying? Is it not obvious that they need a savior? How many of you have seen your father come under pressure? No rent, no nothing. What are you doing about it? I told myself I'll come to a point in my life where I'll put all my family members on perpetual salary for their lifetime till they go to be with Jesus Christ. Brothers, how will you like that kind of thing? If wishes were horses, beggars will beg to ride, but wishes are not horses. But you can turn that wish into a horse. By applying these principles I'm teaching you. And you will ride on it gloriously. What do you have in your house? This is what God is asking you. What do you have? What do you have in your house? Don't sit down and be admiring great people and say, Hey, lucky for them. Oh, you people have gone. Don't pray for us. Say, I'm going to do something. Say it. If you know your uniqueness, how many books are you reading? How many books? How many books are you reading? Readers are leaders. 
How many books are you reading in the area of your call? If you are snapping this camera, if you cannot mention five people in this country that are good or around, I know you are not serious. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You, is that, God is calling me into a healing ministry. Show me whose DVDs you have, who God has called into that healing ministry. Where you are, you are reading how they started. When you go to my house, you don't find, okay, there's, there, there are two movies now. The, the, the Lord of the Ring is still there. Then this Tyler Perry's film. I can't remember again. I can't even remember the name. But there are people that have modeled what I see God making me become. And I sit down. I study. I want to empower God's people. I want to make them ambassadors. Set them on fire. Do you have a unique grace? Do you have a unique gift? Are you doing anything about it? Some of you just sit down and keep pitying yourself. And disturbing those who are moving towards their destiny. Try this life self. Now I hope. If we were abroad by 18 years, they would have given us this. If you, listen, I'm not laughing this night. If you don't stop that attitude, you will find that you are 50 years and you are still talking like that. Uh, you know there are some people who believe it's just nemesis. That's just how life is for us. Nothing used to work in our family. My sister too is like that. No job, no marriage. Me mom like that. No job, no marriage. As if you do not know that you can change it. You go to a place of employment, they kick you out, laugh, and say one day we will drink tea with the CEO of this company. We went to Shika and one, one, one man just stopped us. One guard man that is trying, where he was doing his job. The guy stopped us and said, we are not going anywhere. We were trying to plead him, saying we are not going anywhere. And Shade's husband is like the ogre of the whole... You know, the security company that employs the people. So I called Shadi. I said, Todd, they've stopped us. So wanted to go and pray for her father. And she was just happy. She just got one bigger guy. The guy just marched and came. When they came, at once they allowed us and we waved the man and we left. <laughs> Be careful what you call impossible. Because somebody will come and make it possible. Would have, there were some people who were waiting there. But when Chade's husband came, he saluted him and we're happy. We're partakers of the glory. <laughs> it taught me a lesson. It taught me a powerful lesson. Impossible is a relative statement. They can close the door for others and say, sorry, it cannot be opened. Sorry, it cannot be opened. You will be amazed to see how they will open it for somebody. I told you there are some people that bank on Saturdays and Sundays too. Is that true? It's only for the masses that bank ends 3 p.m. on Friday. They say, oh yeah, go out, let's lock this bank. But there are people on Sunday, because of one man, they'll open the bank and say, Your Excellency, sir, please. Come in. We went to Starcoms and I saw one account officer sitting there. Why will a bank give an account officer to come and sit in a, in a, in a telecommunications company? Some of you, you will have in your own house. You say, so how much are we sending for this school now? Send 10 million for this school, 10 million for this one, 50 million for this. I hear that there is a church building. Send 15 million for it. God punish the devil. Let me talk like Dr. <laughs> Let me talk like Dr. Ebert Amina. He likes it. God punish the devil. See, I will be great in life. I'm inspiring you tonight. This was the decision I made years ago. Let me tell you the truth. This decision will cost you something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you willing to pay the price? The woman said, nothing except a little cruise of oil. What did the prophet tell her? He said, go and borrow. You, you are not permitted to borrow oil, but you can borrow vessels. What are vessels? Books, DVDs, experiences. Sit down under the feet of mentors and great people that have gone ahead and listened. I've told you, this attitude of saying we are all equal, we are equal in Christ. But when it comes to the school of greatness, wisdom is ability to recognize difference. There are people I will never, no matter how crazy I am, I will never 
if I ever get to a meeting and they are seated there, I must salute and recognize them before speaking. Wisdom, Mike Modoc says, is the ability to recognize difference. Many of you don't know difference at all. Hallelujah. Doctors don't go about looking for sick patients. They establish an institution and say, if you are sick, find your way here. Is that true? If you really want to be treated, what will you do? You have to go to the hospital. Is that true? Many of us want the doctors to come and find us and treat us. Sorry, life does not work like that. Get up and begin to do something about your life. Make up your mind. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm awake. How can a young man be sleeping by 10, 11, 12? You yawn by 12 when others are already writing their names in time. And you, you wonder why things will not work for you. Let me tell you, God is a merciful God, but he's a just God. I know the number of times I sleep in a day. I'm always building myself. Nobody will deceive me. Compared to where I'm going, this is just a step out of the cave. Are you listening to me? This is rehearsals. I tell people, ministry has not started yet. When we get to that level of kingdom influence, where we will not talk too much, at that time I won't be shouting like this again. It's when you don't have results, you shout too much. Charles and Francis Hunter say one miracle is worth a thousand words. If Michael Jackson only said, Jesus is Lord. That statement with that level of influence will bring more harvest than what we'll be doing every week in Zaria here for one year. Is that true? Everybody say influence. This is what your gift. Let me tell you very quickly before we pray. What your gift can do for you. Number one. Your gift and your skills. When refined and developed will create opportunities. Everybody say opportunities. Your gift. Your skill. When refined. When developed, my friend, a military man, took me to a place in Abuja. When I entered that place, it's a, it's a spa place, a beauty place. They took me there to bath me. Ah! When I entered that place, I knew that there was difference between clipper and clipper. Barbie saloon and Barbie saloon. Barbers and barbers. The way they treated me when I sat down and they barbed me. In my mind, I was saying, is this me? Hallelujah. When they finished, they put a lotion. I don't know what it is. My head just foamed like Father Christmas. And they told me, enter this room. I entered. I was enjoying. I don't care what it is. I don't need to know. I will employ somebody who knows when I'm blessed. Hallelujah. And when they washed my head and I finished, they appreciated me. Ah! I said, what kind of place is this? And they showed me the owner, a Lebanese woman who was also walking quietly. Nobody even knew. When we finished everything, time came for bill. They said 600 naira. For barbing, That's what you will pay when you meet someone who has refined his gifts. The same food, a cup of coffee in Transcorp Hilton is 2005. Everybody say cup of coffee. How much is coffee? Next cafe, this type they shake there. How much? 50 naira. If you price 20 naira. Yet it's the same thing you pay. This decoration you are seeing. There are people who can decorate over 2 million, some even 5 million. You will name your price by your refining of your gifts. Write it. Your gift and your skill will create opportunities. If Rotimi continues this a day, see how the opportunity will come is none of your business. Just know it will come. The Bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of how a child so also you do not know the way of God. How it will happen is none of your business. Hallelujah. One of my uncles called me. My father's friend. 
Years ago, when they come to our house, we are the ones who run to go and wash the car. How are you? We go and wash. I said, no problem. I will wash it. He called me of recent and said, ah, ah. I've been hearing a lot. We are seeing the things you are doing. I said, bless God. Oh. He said, when will you come now? We need to discuss. There's something we need to sit down man to man. I said, that's right. <laughs> when, when your father starts talking to you like that, it's a sign that you are making progress. When your father says, there are some things I want to discuss with you, but I, when, let everybody sleep. Come out. Clap for yourself. You are trying. That's, that's a sign. When your father says, look, there are some secrets we don't tell people. Who are the people? When your gift starts showing, there are doors that will start opening. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of you, you think you are too young to enter some doors. No, sir. No, ma. If you, if you refine yourself, I promise you that door will open. There are places I have entered today by the grace of God. I know there is no human way under the sun under the sun that I will enter that place. Hallelujah, I have a gift. Laugh at me, the gift is in me. You will never go out. God gave it to me. The way God did it, God put the gift. The only way to enjoy the gift is to carry me along with the gift. You can't carry the gift and leave me. There are people today, if the gift of God was not in my life, they will see me and just his and pass. But God orchestrated it. You must need me because you need that gift. Oh, I celebrate his name. That's why I rejoice. Such as I have. Go and borrow vessels. This is what the prophet said. Sister, borrow vessels. Read the books. You may, if you borrow vessels, the gift will expand. The oil was there. The problem was there was no vessel. Esther was beautiful, but her beauty was not yet sufficient to take her to the king's palace. Is that true? She was beautiful. Many of you are sitting on gifts today that you are paying for. During my birthday, the things that people brought for me, it was as if it was wedding. You know how they finish wedding and you pack the gifts. I just sat down. I said, years ago, I did my birthday alone. Ah, somebody is after two weeks. You say, ah, is it not your birthday? Your birthday 25th, is it not? Am I wrong? Say you are right. So you say, oh, happy birthday. But there is something that can happen. One year before your birthday, somebody is preparing because of your gift. Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God telling tonight that if you can pay attention, we are discussing on the subject of success. Some of you have been sitting on treasure. You are in the middle of an ocean begging for water. You are in the middle of an ocean. You are an artist. You are watching on TV drawings that are not half your capacity. They are rewarding the people whereas you are there. When I watch preachers on TV preach, I tell you with all humility, I just get up and I rejoice. I say, God, you tried for me. We're on our way coming. And I get up, I rejoice. I say, Lord, I may not know everything, but at least I know something. I know something that I can preach anywhere and not be ashamed. Come on now. Some of you, the business acumen that you have, even the CEOs of banks and cooperatives do not have. Listen, that you have not entered that place does not mean you don't have it. Who would have known that Zuckerberg's gift was so good like this? It takes time to prove it. But that does not mean it's not there. Some of our worshippers, some of these people you are seeing, the gifts that they have, you will see them tomorrow and say, I know this person. I know that person. Abel Damina was born in Samina Kahir. Right here in this area. Who cares where I was born now? Who cares where I was raised? Even if it was with firewood we used to prepare and cook. It's, 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 look, when you are blessed, you are blessed. When you know it, you have known it. If it opens the door, it will open the door forever. It will open the door this week and close it next week. Say, I have a solution for the world. Say it, I have a solution. Some of you are music groups. Some of you are individuals. Who has talked you down? I'm speaking to somebody this night. 
Who has talked you down? Somebody ate your food and said, God forbid. If your restaurant is the only one, I will just, let me, I will learn how to cook by myself. Allow the person. Who has talked you down? I want you to know tonight that the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The spirit of creativity. Bel Bezalel. That spirit came upon him and he was given the mission of crafting. I'm speaking to you. Who has talked you down, my brother? Who has talked you down? See, many of you see us today and you think we were born this way. Wait till you hear some stories. When you see great people, you think they had opportunities to just climb. Let me tell you, it's not true. You don't want to know the things they have survived. Greatness lies in the bosom of those who have survived what others cannot survive. I don't care what you think you are going through. I, I slept on speakers and amplifier. It will never happen again forever. There were days we did not eat. There were days we trekked distances. But we did not allow what happened to us. I, there was a day I trekked from the roundabout where Chiki Republic. I passed Chiki Republic. I was hungry. I could not do anything about it. I trekked from there to aviation. What have you gone through that you think is stopping you? Some of you is complex. Just inferiority complex. Every time you want to rise, the devil keeps telling you, you know you did this, you know you are this, you know you are that. We are here tonight to call that devil a liar. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are calling that devil a liar. There are some of you that the gift God has given you is a supernatural prophetic grace. Some of you is an apostolic ability. Every time in your dreams you see the whole world. Some of you are book writers that will write on common books. The gift of a man. He said borrow vessels. When she borrowed the vessels she entered. He said lock your door. There are some trainings you don't do in the open. You must close your door. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you that like open. There are some times you need to close your door. Because what God will do in you is only him that can do alone. You will close your door. And she began to pour it. Do you know how, how many vessels? The pain it took for her to carry the vessels. While she was carrying the vessels, she said, I'm on, I'm on my way out. Never, never to be in this situation again. You are the solution to the prayer of your families. Some of you, many of them never experienced some things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But could it be that God brought you tonight to speak to you? There are some of you who have been saying, oh, the government is not giving job, this and that. Could it be that God is trying to speak to you? I'm challenging you. Take what I'm saying seriously because we are going to pray. We will soon rise up to pray. And when it's time to pray, I want you to pray your life out. I told myself I am great. I'm great. I'm great. Joshua Selman, you are great. I speak it to myself every day. The world will hear you. You are a sign and a wonder. The anointing that is upon you is not common. Don't trivialize it. Give God thanks but celebrate it. If it's common, go and get it in the market. Hallelujah. The gift that God has given you, Oga John, there are photographers around, but it's not common. Believe it. Some of you that have all kinds of gifts, you are administrators, uncommon administrators. As young as you are, you can sit down and administrate. You didn't read this admin. Could that gift take you? There are some of you who can write proposals, there are many of you who can do a lot of things. I'm speaking to you tonight. Wake up, call your name and say, Wake up, one to go. See prophesy it from the spirit one more time one to go yes the bible says awake thou that sleepest that means you have been sleeping awake thou that sleepest and christ will give you life somebody called me and said josh at at this level of your life what are you doing i said preparing for an extraordinary life this is what i'm doing right now this is what i do every day when people get up and run 
everybody is going for work everybody is doing i'm preparing for an extraordinary life oh and when the master is done with me he would present me as a masterpiece a symbol of his wisdom and artistry i speak to you you will hear this message many years after now when you stand and watch the world clap for you and tears stream down your face you will tell them this award is given to me in london but i was trained in zaria and i did not despise the chastening of the lord many of you this teaching is hard on you it's a wake-up call but despise not the days of chastening i bring you a word let the devil not lie to you you are great you are on your way to happen i don't care how many times you have failed in life when you become successful, when a woman has a miscarriage 50 times and she gives birth the 51st time, nobody will ask her how many times you had miscarriage. We don't care. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I had that song years ago. We went to sing in a church. And while they were singing it, they were laughing. That song entered my spirit till today. Tell yourself I am somebody. It's time to stop this false humility and start believing in what God, this is what koinonia is all about. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit partnership with him to shake the world i would never if if i tell myself i am not great i'm lying it's not humility it's foolishness say i am great say it one more time say it one more time say it one more time say the world will testify that i am great say the world will testify that i'm great say i will walk at it I may cry, but I will walk at it. It will cost me, but I will walk at it. Understanding. You are paying the price. Some of you will be mighty women of God. As you are looking at me, you, you, God has already shown you. It does, you, are, you are wondering, how shall these things be like Mary? He said, thou art favored, thou, how did he even put it, that salutation? Hail Mary. Mother of grace, he said, Thou art favored among other women. She said, What meaneth these salutations? How shall these things be? Don't you don't need to ask how it shall be? Let me tell you whether you are a mother here, whether you are a father, whether you are a sister, a brother, young or old, at any level, if you can allow God to take a hold, I have found my servant David, and with my holy oil, I have anointed him. What has God given you? I'm speaking to you. What has God given you? Oh, God has given you leadership. Take it to the extreme. Let that gift make room for you. God has given you grace for ministry. Take it to the extreme. God has given you business acumen. Stand up and establish those conglomerates. Don't let no devil talk nonsense to you. Let the employment of Nigeria not threaten you. Tell yourself, I will arise. I will create jobs. Thousands of jobs. Can be a lady and God is telling you you are entering into the finance world don't sit down and let people call you a weaker vessel it's time to begin to silence those demonic voices you've never held 10,000 of your money so what your gift will bring for you something your entire family did not hold hallelujah we are going to pray everybody close your eyes just in one minute before we pray close your eyes where you are and just begin to meditate in one minute. I'd like you to begin to see yourself the champion that God has made you. I'd like you to begin to see yourself solving the problems of mankind. You are an ambassador. See yourself shaking away the limitation of your culture. See yourself shaking away that limitation. Who told you you cannot get there? I'm speaking to your spirit. Just close your eyes and meditate. I have found my servant David. I have a gift. 
I have an ability given by God. I have an ability. Men may not understand it now. Men may not understand it now. It's still in the process of refining. It's still in the process of refining. But when God is done with you, my sister, I tell you, although you cannot speak good English now, I am telling you, when that gift is done, you will stand near scholars and it will be an honor for them to stand with you. Yes, I know you came from the village. Yes, I know you came from the village. You've not afforded a good meal. But who told you that gift cannot take you? I'm speaking to you. Yes, you have not gotten admission. You wrote jam 20 times. But who told you that gift cannot rise up? I'm speaking to you. Yes, your wayek didn't work well. Yes, you started that business and failed. But who told you that anointing is not in you? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't care what has happened. Yes, it is. Who told you that that anointing, the first day you prayed for a sick person, the person was not healed. In fact, he died. But God told you you have been called to take his healing power to the nations. Do you believe it? There are many of you that are, are TV hosts. God is taking you to do mighty things. Some of you are beauticians. Some of you are mighty men and women. Joshua the high priest stood before God. And Satan was there to accuse him. And he says, Satan, is this not a reed that I've taken out of fire? The Lord rebuke you. At any level you can start. Hear me tonight. I'm speaking to you. At any level you can start. Joseph, in one night, he slept as an ordinary slave. He woke up the next day and his gift made room for him. Somebody's gift will make room for him. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Now in the next five to ten minutes, please, if you want to scatter yourself around, I want you to pray. Let me tell you, if I, if I say prayer and I see some of you looking at me, I'll come and hold your hands and pray with you here. Please, if you are sleeping, wake up. We are finished. Wake up. It's time to pray. Inside and outside. There's no space for you inside. Go outside to pray. I want us to pray. The Bible says, This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare with the prophecy. Many of some of you don't know these giftings. You are going to pray and say, Lord, what did you put in me? What did you put in me? I'm tired of inferiority and complex. I'm tired of being thought out of as a second class person. What did you put in me for your glory? That's prayer point number one. Lift your voice right now and begin to pray. Come on now, Koinonia. You won't pray like this. You won't pray like this. Lord, what is that treasure? What do I have in my house? Young and old, pray, 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 pray. Rekete prekete ke prekete ke topo koso pata. Rekete pros ke pai. Maka prakata. Lekoto pros ke variata. A prokoto pekete pekete bananaba. Make sure you are praying. Lord, what is that gift? What is the rod of God in my hand? I'm tired of trying to look like everybody. I'm tired. Of trying to talk like everybody. Koinonia, pray. Shekete te kosopeka. Sempre kete ke posha. Rekete proskope e kotoriata. Mambroto zekete. Rekete posa. Lord, show me my uniqueness. Show me. He said, Call on to me and I will answer. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Come on, Koinonia, pray. Show me, oh God. 
show me oh God my father did not see it my mother did not see it show me oh God there is a generation waiting for a revelation of the glory of God that is in me pray pray you came here tonight to pray what do you have in your house what do you have where is that ability that can make you stand anywhere that will also give you a seat among the great koinonia pray i don't like the way some of you are praying come on pray Contend in the spirit. Every power of darkness that wants you not to discover that gift in you, the Lord rebuke it. Pray. It will come out. It will come out. It will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Forget about where you are now. Forget about where you are today. Forget about what you don't have. Forget about what has happened. Pray. Pray. Invest into your tomorrow. Invest into your tomorrow. What is it, oh God? I call unto you. He said, call unto me. I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things. He will show you in a dream. He will show you in a vision. He will show you through prophetic confirmation. He will show you through your passion. He will show you through your desires. Show me, oh God, show me, oh God, the gift that will end poverty in my lineage. Show me that gift that will end poverty. Show me that gift that will bring my family to greatness. Show me that gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to speak and say, Lord, I received a baptism of diligence to refine and develop my gifts. Are you hearing me? Some of us hear me. Some of us, you need to reduce your time of pointless visitations going to go and meet friends and gossiping and discussing about things that have no bearing to your future are you hearing me you're going to see whether it is in the rain in the sun you're going to tell yourself i may cry i may weep i may not look fine now as i'm doing it but i'm ready hear me some of you by this prayer you will need to cut away from godless and unserious friends well, hold on i'm speaking to some of you because for some of you it is your friends and your company that are keeping you from being great your this friend thing love is a command association is not there's nobody that says you must have many friends to show you are making progress in life they may gossip about you they may misunderstand you don't worry when you become great it will settle the matter are you hearing me you are going to pray now and say, Lord, diligence. The Bible says, See thou a man diligent in his business. He shall not stand before mean men. He shall stand before kings. Lift your voice and pray. Diligence to fast. Diligence to pray. 
diligence to study day and night diligence to read books diligence to listen to tapes diligence to go for workshops I receive a baptism a fresh baptism a fresh baptism a fresh baptism are you praying koinonia are you praying pray say i break free from ungodly movies ungodly associations ungodly places for the sake of my destiny i pay the price i pay the price i saw the seed i may weep but i saw the seed i can't be a failure in life yes you are praying your way to greatness you are praying your way to greatness you are praying your way to prosperity you are praying your way to generational blessings you are praying your way to extraordinary impact my sister pray pray Pray, pray. Haleka prosekete. Forget about your failures and pray. Forget about your failures and pray. Say, Lord, I will start again. I used to set goals before, but now I'm backslidden. I used to watch videos every day. I used to listen to DVDs, but now I'm backslidden. But tonight, tonight, a baptism, fresh grace. I won't give up. I won't give up. Come on now. Arise. Let your dreams arise. Refuse to give up. God is faithful. Refuse to give up. Go back again. Do it again. Shake it You are laboring in the spirit. Hallelujah. Let me show you one scripture. Back to our text. John 9. Let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive. John chapter 9. While I was reading today, I had to stop and say, goodness. So this thing did not start now. Two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive. Number 1, 9 verse 16. Listen to what happened. We have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that God is doing and probably you just came to watch and see. Let me verify for myself. Look at it. It didn't just start today. Satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that God has asked them to do. He said, this man is not of God because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. What kind of silly excuse is that? Look at the excuse they were bringing. Those people lose their cattle. They lose their cattle. Be careful. Lest you allow the devil. 
cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called Sadiq Ibrahim I never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post election violence and he came was dying of HIV right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of God and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of God would just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as I came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or God's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony it was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where's selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children
I just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is God really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of God don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting Jesus Christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in Psalm 3 thou O Lord art a shield for me it says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you who is there like you there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you i lead the earth to worship you hallelujah lord jesus change our situation tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only God that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like I see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease I remember a particular lady I was talking to I think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she would die so when I got to hear about it I said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here There is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what god is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am Is there anything Too hard for me to do I am that I am yeah. Is there anything Too hard for me to do Times. The Lord is talking to you. Is there anything to what for me to do? I am that I am. For the last time now, prophesy. Is there Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere. Inside and outside. Connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back. And let this most Holy Spirit step into your life
Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of miracles. Oh, oh. for him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship you Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. Call his name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God. Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we're singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them 
are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people very mightily by the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called hallelujah those of you in this row just lift your hands i don't know what it is that i see the angels of the lord doing here i see the angels of the lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this row let me have the people outside thank you jesus one two three let the power of god move right now right now is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel, his name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Bring her, no devil will stop her. Your name is called He is 
presence of God no demon no devil no altar I don't care what altar of darkness my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalist. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God, inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside. And there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One two three shout jesus shake up a pack of proposal secretary i cause powers every wicked power every demon every activity of darkness i cause you now 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 every act of witchcraft secretary by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you come under the judgment of God, inside and outside, right now. Let the power of God bring deliverance. For upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Hallelujah. Those outside, just those outside, goodness. I see a number of angels. You're going to shout Jesus after the count of three. Outside means everywhere that is not in. And there will be massive deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now, those outside? I see the power of God like files of fire. One, two at the count of three. Shout Jesus three. Sheketetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. I set you free now out of her now that devil of darkness blessed is he who comes hallelujah please help her ladies it's not easy I know just find it's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her. She will come. Now. Quickly. I call you Lord. Most high. Don't touch her. She will come by herself. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Thank you Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus name. She's free. In the name of Jesus, it's over. Let her go now. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. You died for her. Let her go. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. Let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I give you all the praise. She's delivered completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. 
let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther, Esther, Esther. There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You're sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther, please let's save time. There is a lot we have to do tonight. Esther, who is Deborah? Deborah, Deborah, you are outside. That Deborah is wearing red. You are wearing red. Red with black spots. It's a shirt, red with black spots. Deborah, come. Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look, guys. Speak to them and let them. You will waste your time with demon spirits. Have a way of wasting people's time. Don't. You will save yourself a lot of energy. It makes no difference who is speaking. Queen. Who is queen? You are queen. I need to pray for you. You have a blood condition. Victoria. 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, please just save time when I mention your case. Gabriel. Gabriel is outside. Outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are. Is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel. You are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you. Because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady. And I saw something that looks like a lizard. And is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. Just leased to her heart region. And it's just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region that devil is a liar you'll be free hallelujah there's no time to minister to your individual needs are you following me now if god gives me a word for you i'll just pray otherwise ah okay. come 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 you must be set free now hold my hands out come out of her now out now blessed is he who comes i set you free from this captivity be free now Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? Let me pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ 
father i pray for all of these people as i lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of jesus christ i set you free in the name of jesus christ walk into the blessings and the promises of god in the name of the lord jesus christ be set free right now by the power of the holy spirit be set free in the name of the lord jesus um the lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's there's, there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit be free now in the name of jesus let him go i set you free be free now by the power of the holy spirit i cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me look at me i'm seeing you tied not only are you I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out. Come out of her. Now. In the name of Jesus. Out. Out of her. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out! Out! Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out! Come out! I will pray for you and I will talk to you. The name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free be free now in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ he's able bring the lady shout in there Hey, hey, hey. Say he's 
able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Thank God. He's able. God is that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in Jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? This one is a woman who is not you, but anyway, what's the situation? But it's a, no, no, no. What, what, just straight to the point, what happened? My body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like, move, I want to fall. This is the spirit of death now. You would have died before today. Hold my hands. I want to pray with you. You'll be free now. Thank you, Jesus. I set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What, what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I pray for you. Just, just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabi, I've prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at This is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg. I don't know if it's a 
if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there please who is that person the lord wants to heal you right now right now right now right now you're the one oh you can see them you can even see it what's the problem i actually played football you're a footballer i had a fracture for eight months now. you have a fracture now on the leg there is a fracture is it true please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here look at me watch yourself get healed now come don't close your eyes open your eyes thank you jesus christ Aya. the holy spirit young gicho wrote a book he said the holy spirit my senior partner watch what happens to this guy now my brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it stand up stand up jump do what you couldn't do just do it test yourself look at this look at see the guy is even rejoicing <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture fracture on his leg come on give jesus praise for an onion see there's no there's no pain try doing like this do like this that's how you know whether there was pain or not look at look at look at what you do come on give jesus praise hallelujah god bless you it never returns your leg come 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 don't worry what's the situation pain there let me see just just the no 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 you don't need to lift your just that point the joint there how long Since two weeks now two weeks what happened just like that you woke up and the pain refused to go thank you jesus christ which one do you want you want to lay hands on yourself or should you just pray <laughs> huh? all right but seriously let's pray hold my hands heal her lord set her free right now the power of god is coming upon you that leg in the name of jesus christ no pain see that's the power of god coming upon your leg check yourself check honestly check yourself look at the power of god is moving strongly check check do you feel any pain you feel any no pain is she's even surprised no pain is give jesus praise that devil has gone never to return again in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah goodness the lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now someone you have a hole you used to have a hole in your teeth check it now you will not see that hole there please check it and come out this is a miracle that has just happened now please i'm going to start praying in mass for people but you will be very surprised when when that happens to you just come out quickly the lord show, once god shows me something he has done it please check yourself check yourself we're not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ please make sure you only come out for the cases i call why is he out eh? okay let me pray for you father for the mother we agree right now let there be freedom in the name of jesus look at this look at the miracle your teeth is closed now come come please we need a witness we need a witness is it true don't tell lies here you are in the presence of god where is it sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole 
please come with that. come and check no let's have any independent person so that she don't say we are acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when I... it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is is, is nice please if you have any problem with your eye just lay your hands there'll be healing miracles right now there'll be healing miracles right now with the eyes immediately i pray for you some of you the power of god will touch your eyes just check yourself and when you find out that there is a miracle i want to take a few testimonies there please lift your lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes jesus will give you the praise hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i curse you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition You've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition. You have a heart problem. Who? And is preparing to go to India for treatment. Is preparing to go to India for surgery. What of you? Yes, sir. What of you? You. You have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation palpitation oh. doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Ogasa, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay you can hear it even when she so it's, a, stethoscope, you can hear it. so it's a serious situation she'll be healed now you're a doctor now wait you'll go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of jesus how do you know now try it breathe in and out let's see thank you jesus christ let there be perfection in the name of jesus let there be perfection the devil wants to bring stroke as i just held you huh is that true you're already feeling half of you so okay you're that too of stroke because immediately I had I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you. Because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
now i'm going to pray for you please follow me guys Hallelujah. most marital delays are demonic in nature and we're going to arrest it right now you can stand in for yourself you can stand in for your loved ones please lift your hands everybody you'll be amazed at what will happen right now everyone please lift your hands you can stand for yourself you can connect hallelujah at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus father i pray that as they shout that name every every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three i cast those spirits in the name of jesus let god's people go in the name of jesus out of them now by the power of the holy ghost inside and outside i command those powers to let you go now release their marital destinies now release their marital destinies now every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the lord jesus i arrest it i arrest it by the power of the holy ghost was he going to shout that name over this case the lord is not done yet lift your hands again i want you to shout it at the top of your voice and as you shout that name the fire of the holy ghost will hit you like a tornado god is visiting situations right now thank you jesus one shake it up two get ready now get ready with your hands lifted three be released now be released now be released now i command chains chains marital chains be broken by the power of the holy ghost i command chains be broken in the name of Jesus be broken in the name of Jesus be broken let marital doors open in the name of Jesus I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names the Bible says seek out of the book and read he said none of this shall fail none shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names i call him into your life i call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of jesus And I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names. That sister that God has destined for you, we release her into your life now. 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 Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray for all sick people, especially those who have come from everywhere. While you come out, 
do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly stand here believing that god will set you free he that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues. And then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Strange My Ow. God is he, he can move the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. My God. Heal. The name of Jesus. Be healed, mommy. In the name of Jesus. Please, while you're seated, just pray in tongues. 
Hide me from the rain. Christ. My God. My God. Jesus Christ, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Perfection. My God is Jesus. Perfection in your body, right now. In the name of Jesus. For me to do, I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed right now. I am that I am. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus I Christ. Am that I am. I am that I am. Is she now? That's it. In the name of Jesus.
Aleluya. 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 All those trusting God for a job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. In the name that is above all names. I pray. May the Lord give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job. In the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hand, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray, let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals, receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray, may my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem against Israel I command right now let those doors of jobs be open supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive If you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. Scriptures talk about and a blessed And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God to before the altar. He said, Lord, is behold the your threat. So as someone says, Hallelujah. it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And now we're God, going to pray. he meditates day and night. He says that Hallelujah. that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Who this request do not wither represent the best food in impossible every situations for some as you are about listening Hallelujah. to this message situations that, that only the power of god can like change like that man planted by the rivers of water your there are some situations are here if we have to read it and we know that even with the men of god will be discouraged because of the by. kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it forever we just it. drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want 
subscribe to this channel your heart. as well as like us and those Hit following us online bell to receive now more is the time for them to connect because you know that whatever content Hallelujah. here is going to because set you on pray course at over every this time. Request, it's going to make you attain the power of god will turn this request into testimonies to in you. the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony lord in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit Change this situation. Change this situation. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. In the name of Jesus, Lord, under this corporate anointing, we release answers to this request. We release answers to this request. Let them receive emergency attention of heaven now. In the name of Jesus, we release answers now. In the name of Jesus, thank you because we got nothing shall be impossible, and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah! Please, everybody, stand. Those who are visiting with us, all those who are who came from outside Zaria, please come out. I'll minister to you now. I want you to come out expecting the Lord. There are so many people who have come from different places. Please just come out. I'll pray for them. And I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction. Hallelujah. It's not enough to come and watch miracles. Hallelujah. But we are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from kogi state eddie from joss lunging from abuja i see a number of people hallelujah please i want you to believe i don't know what you came here for but i really want you to believe by the power of the holy ghost i want you to believe i'm going to minister to you two things will happen to you whatever situation you came here trusting god for i'm going to release my faith with you and secondly that you will carry an anointing i tell you something will come heavy upon your life you will carry an anointing you will carry an anointing you will carry an anointing in the name of jesus christ just clash the symbols please play strings 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 the name of Jesus anoint them in the name of Jesus be blessed take an anointing back be blessed in the name of Jesus be healed be blessed take this anointing back Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Walk in greater levels of power. 
greater levels you of power mighty, in the name of Jesus you do glorious things you're unfaithful take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ break through every closed door I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost you do glorious things you're Take this anointing with you God. in the name of Jesus awesome to your locality. Today. Do mighty things oh, for the kingdom. Out. Out. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, In the name of Jesus. I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus. I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Rababa Shatabanana. Let the world grow. In the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let an anointing come. Greater apostolic signs. Greater apostolic wonders. In the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthrough. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. 
take it now take it now the healing anointing inside and outside take it now by the power of the holy ghost take it now take it now go and heal the sick go and heal the sick you will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed you will cast out devils shake it receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it i pray i command the prophetic let it be activated now prophetic fountains be open now visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it an unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now I activate the full power of the spirit i activate it inside and outside take it let the holy ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hands Hold your hand. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it I activate the gifts of the Spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire every apostolic ministry take the fire every prophetic ministry take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the Holy Ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom shut up shut up shut up 
Sekete, Rekete, Rekete, Tete, Maka Pratete, Empletos Kepa, Matoskopo Rekete. Now I want to prophesy very quickly. Please, I want you to shout Amen. Every closed door over your life, in the name that is above all names, be open now. Be open now. Be open now every closed door be open now 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 i pray right now every opportunity you have lost i don't care what it is i prophesy right now receive restoration receive restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now Come alive now. I prophesy 
that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of Jesus I release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing I command ministry grow church grow in the name of Jesus hallelujah Lord we give you the praise I'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made Jesus Lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a Christian but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ I'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying Lord I return to you I don't care whether you've been born again before please I want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the Lord Jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the Lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them I believe there are people God bless you God bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming Koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage God bless you God bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you Jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming God bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you Jesus hallelujah I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem I want you to say after me Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood to set me free I receive that freedom tonight and I receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus from today I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and live in me I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life for whatever hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son Attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart, that no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you